What's up, O-Doers, and welcome back. I missed you a lot, and I'm being super serial when I say that. Okay, enough of the terrible puns. Let's talk about manufacturing with lots and serial numbers. Lots and serial numbers are used to track products as they move through inventory. For manufactured products specifically, Odoo requires that products tracked with lots or serial numbers have their numbers assigned before they're entered into the inventory. This ensures that products are tracked from the very moment that they're created. So let's jump into our database now and see how this all works. All right, in order to manufacture a product tracked with lots or serial numbers, the first thing we need to do is enable the required setting. To do so, I'm gonna click into our inventory application, followed by configuration and settings. We're just gonna scroll down to our traceability section. And once we're here, we just wanna make sure that the lots and serial number setting is enabled. I've already enabled it in my database, but make sure you click save once you do so in yours. Now, let's take a look on how we configure a product to be tracked with lots or serial numbers. First, we're gonna click on products, followed by products once again, and I'm gonna click my TV stand product. On the general information tab, we see a checkbox titled track inventory is ticked. This checkbox appears for all products that use goods as their product type. Basically, it allows us to track the specific quantity of a product on hand. However, since we enabled the lots and serial number setting, a dropdown appears next to the option. From here, we can select whether this product is tracked by lots, by unique serial number, or just by quantity. A lot is used to track a group of products while a serial number is assigned to just a single product. As you can see, I've currently set up our TV stand to be tracked by lots. Before we move on, I'm just gonna to return to our products page via the breadcrumbs here at the top and select our coffee table product. As you can see, we have our track inventory field set and by unique serial number. I just wanted to show you this since we'll be using both the TV stand and coffee table in our workflows. First, let's manufacture a few units of our TV stand, which is tracked by lots. To do so, we're gonna head over to the manufacturing application, select operations at the top, followed by manufacturing orders, and then select new. In the product field, I'm just gonna enter TV stand, and for the quantity produced, I'm just going to enter five. From there, we're just gonna click confirm. Since this product is tracked using lots, a lots slash serial number field appears at the top section of the MO form once the MO is confirmed. Now, there are a few different ways we can assign a lot number to the TV stands manufactured by this MO. First, we can assign the product a lot number that already exists. If I click into this lot slash serial number field and click on search more, a pop-up window appears showing all the lot numbers that currently exist for this product. Clicking on any of these numbers automatically enters it into the lot slash serial number field. I can also generate a brand new lot number by clicking this plus icon to the right of the lot slash serial number field. This method creates a lot with the next available number. In this case, it reads lot 13. Both of these methods can be used to assign a lot before production is completed. However, I can also finish production and close the MO by clicking Produce All. This automatically generates and assigns the next available lot number to the MO's products. Since we've assigned a lot number ahead of time, I'm just gonna click Produce All to close this MO. All right, let's move on to how we manufacture a product tracked with serial numbers. I'm gonna go back to the Manufacturing Orders main page using the breadcrumbs, and then click New once again. Now on the product field here, we're just gonna enter coffee table. And just like before, we're gonna enter a quantity of five. Then click confirm. Once again, the lot slash serial number field appears here at the top of the MO. If this MO were only for a single product, I could use the same methods to assign a serial number that we use to assign a lot, either by entering a number in this field right here or by clicking the plus icon to the right. However, things are a bit different when processing an MO for multiple units. This is because a serial number can only be assigned to a single unit unlike a lot number, which can contain a quantity greater than one. I could use either of the methods above to assign a single serial number, but this would only apply to one unit, and I would be prompted to create a back order for the other four. Instead, let's use a method that allows us to assign each unit in a serial number all at once. So we're just gonna leave the lot slash serial number field empty 
and then click Produce All. When we do, this opens up a batch production pop-up window. This pop-up window is used to automatically generate and assign serial numbers to each unit of the product being manufactured. In the first lot serial number field, the first available serial number appears automatically. Number of SN field next to it shows the number of serial numbers that will be generated. Either of these values can be changed manually, but I want to generate numbers for all five units of the coffee table, so I'm going to go ahead and click the Generate button here on the right. After doing so, the new serial numbers appear in the text box at the bottom of the pop-up. Once again, I can manually edit any of these numbers if necessary. Now, I need to decide whether to click Prepare MO or Produce. Both of these buttons will split the MO into five separate MOs, each containing just one unit of the product along with its serial number. The difference is that clicking Prepare MO keeps all of the split MOs open to be processed individually and closed later on. While on the other hand, Produce closes all of the MOs and enters the corresponding product units into the inventory. So let's say I've already finished manufacturing all of the coffee tables, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click Produce. Regardless of which option I select, I'm immediately taken to the first page of the newly split MOs, which is confirmed by this 001 tag that's added to the end of the original MO number. In the lot slash serial numbers section, I can see that the MO has been assigned the first of the serial numbers that I generated earlier. If I want to view all of the MOs that were split off from the original, all I have to do is click the back order smart button at the top which displays a full list of all of the different coffee tables that we manufactured. And that's all I've got for you today, folks. You now know how to manufacture products tracked using lots and serial numbers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.